Welcome everybody here to our next uh, webinar at uh, JFD Bank and the warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. <clears throat> My name is uh, Stefan Friedrichowski as always for those uh, kind of uh, webinars. Today we have the 26th of September 2019, three o'clock at least um, in the Germany, wherever you are, yeah, might have a different time zone. So anyhow, it's a real pleasure for me to have you all here. It looks once again quite international if I um, yeah, at least guess from the names uh, to the countries. But anyhow, I enjoy uh, to have you uh, here. We talk about JFD West, with, which is a quite cool trading platform or investment tool or should I say it enables you to be a portfolio manager, which is really a quite cool job, I can tell you. It's all, it's all of that. JFT Invest is a trading platform where you can follow pre-selected trading strategies and you can, um, following those strategies means all the trades are copied according to your preferences uh, into your personal JFD Invest account. So you select and then the rest is done by JFD directly. So you don't need uh, expert advisors, you don't need an extra computer which is running all the time, nothing. The only thing you need is access to the internet once because you set up everything in the internet and then you can leave it. So even if you go on vacation, it's no problem um, to still have a view on your personal JFD Invest account. You might even change locations, different as a new selection of strategies. You can do it wherever you are. So that's a real cool thing about JFD Invest. And uh, I will in introduce all the steps necessary and I will introduce a few strategies because um, as always, I will mention the top performer of last week, which has been once again the strategy gold rush. And um, I will show you how you can do that kind of matching process between your preferences in terms of what is your, your acceptable drawdown, for example, uh, how much money you would like to invest. So there has to be something like a matching process between this strategies and your preferences and how to do that. I will show you during the webinar. And of course, we will have a view on my personal JFD Invest account because it's now three days, uh, more than one year ago that I opened a personal JFD Invest account. So what I have achieved there might be the same you will or have achieved achieved with your personal JFD Invest account. At least it's a good example for what's possible. Anyhow, as you know the procedure during the webinar, I have always to show one so-called risk disclaimer. We talk about trading, we talk about investments, um, but finally all the decisions are made by your own and on your own responsibility. I think that's quite self-explaining. So, um, but at least if you have questions, no problem. Send me, a, drop me a note here to s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com or you may write um, support at jfdbank.com as well. Let's have a first view on the top perform uh, uh, of last week. Uh, we send out a newsletter about that. So here is it. Uh, and you can see um, already a quite small picture. We will later, later have it in a bigger version directly on the trading platform uh, about Gold Rush, which has achieved more than 3% last week. And uh, you see overall strategy is uh, at about 35%. And that in one year and I think three or four months, we will see. And it's a really quite cool trading strategy because it's closing all the trades um, before any swap costs, no overnight risk, nothing, no over weekend risk. It's just opening trades and closing them before uh, the day ends. And uh, there's a certain logic I will explain later a little bit more about that. Trading quite a huge amount of different symbols. So it's diversified in itself. Uh, that's good. And um, yeah, that's what has been achieved up to now. But the other two <clears throat> I, um, are quite well doing as well. BIP Generator and Hyperion. Uh, we have to talk about Hyperion 
again because um, it's a new all-time high with 118% growth uh, in one and a half year. So that's quite remarkable. We will talk about that as well. But now let's really start at the beginning. Um, if you would learn, like, like to learn more about JFD Invest and what are the steps to be done in order to be part of JFD Invest, so we start at the homepage of uh, JFD Bank and there we have a button investing and if we go there then we are almost in the trading platform but let me start first by introducing a little bit more what are we really talking about. You see here a table with the top five performing strategies. Um, the table is updated uh, every night uh, and you can see we are really talking about highly profitable trading strategies. You see top performers Hyperion was close to 120% growth and uh, followed by Gold Rush, which uh, yeah, the two we will uh, cover during this webinar a little bit more in detail. But just see already some other key figures here. Equity balance deviation, I will explain what that means. It's something similar to drawdown. And you see, okay, um, it looks a little bit like the higher the return, the higher the potential drawdown. Yes, it's not one-to-one, -one, but uh, there is a relationship. The more risk you apply, the more potential profit you might have. Um, and therefore, we have to think, hey, is it too much for a single strategy? Or should we just use it as part of a portfolio? Because diversification is once again a key element to have finally really very good results. You see last month's result, year-to-date result, and um, that are only five out of 15 strategies. We have in total 15 strategies available. And those <coughs> strategies have been pre-selected by JFD. Um, there are traders behind, professional traders, and um, I think most all of the strategies for finally using algorithms, so they are more or less automatically being traded. Um, but that's not a matter for you because you just copy uh, such a trading strategy. But how to do or how to become part of JFD Invest? So um, the first thing is you would have to uh, press that green button to sign up, uh, which is uh, no money is involved for that process. It's just a registration process, uh, dropping your email and uh, a given password. So then you have a profile. And then if you like, you might open a special JFD Invest account. And even if you have already a, um, a JFD account, that account can't be used for JFD Invest because you need a special one, because you need the same conditions than the professional traders which are behind um, the pre-selected strategies. And that means you get a leverage of one to 100 for that special account. That's the one um, thing which is special and the other one is yeah you cannot really trade by your own so you cannot um, open individual trades that account is just meant for JFD Invest and following those pre-selected strategies finally uh, yeah you connect the two your profile and your account and then you can start um, following trading strategies so it's quite easy and uh, if there are any problems once again just drop us an email and we will help you out, definitely. Even before doing all those steps, what you might want to do is to have a more close look to what is JFD Invest, and that is the so-called guest access, and that you can do without any profile, just by pressing the blue button, and then we go directly uh, into the trading platform. And, um, we always start with an overview of all the strategies. I think that will show up here in a second. Sorry for the delay, but that's always because I upload the webinar, uh, the stream, and then going in the internet uh, is always a little bit of a nightmare. But uh, you see, now here we are. We have the complete table. Um, I mentioned there are 15 strategies, so there's a second page here. And uh, once again, you have the same kind of key figures. So you get, a, you get already an overview about those strategies. They are um, 
uh, listed um, according their return, uh, at least uh, if you don't press any button, and you see the inception date, that is when the account has been opened, and uh, the so-called key figures. But now let's start that review process in terms of how can I find those strategies which really fit to my preference. I mention that because there are no two equal interested people uh, on that world. So there might be people who are just looking for return, whatever it costs, um, regarding the drawdown. And of course, if we would follow that road, um, we would decide for strategy Hyperion, nothing else. If we are somebody who is looking for a diversified portfolio, okay, that would mean at least looking for several of those strategies. But then the question is how much money I allocate to a given strategy, because that you can do at JFD Invest. You can select uh, several strategies and allocate different amount of money um, for a given strategy. That's the one thing to get diversified. But on the other hand, okay, um, it's a question maybe of drawdown. But let's really look to all the key figures uh, we we present at JFD Invest. And let's start with Hyperion because um, uh, that has been uh, quite well performing strategies, reaching a new uh, all time high, as you can see in the growth graph. So that's the first graph you see. <clears throat> it's just percentage wise the growth of that strategy. But you see, we have some more key figures like monthly return table. Okay, the perfect one would be totally green. And there are two strategies which have a totally green monthly return table. The two strategies are Butterfly and the Forex Gun. Not a single month with a negative result. So, and there are other statistics. We come to that later. But let's start with the growth. You see, okay, they are drawdowns. Hey, that belong to trading as well. It would be nice if we don't have any drawdown, but you can see in this case, we have drawdowns, which are mm, close to 50%. So we have to keep that in mind if we select that kind of strategy for our, for our portfolio. If we want to follow that strategy, we, we know from the historical data from that strategy that we have drawdowns yeah, in the region of 50%. Okay, if that's too much, okay, then we would go for a different strategy. On the other hand, if that strategy would be just one fifth of my overall account, um, then a drawdown of 50% for the single strategy would mean for my overall account, if I do an equal weight distribution, it would be a 10% drawdown. Okay, that looks better. So we might go for Hyperion, but just as a part. Good. So that's an idea to get a diversified portfolio. Let me first explain equity balance deviation because we have seen that key figure already on um, on the internet uh, web page of uh, JFD, and the maximum number is minus or uh, uh, mathematically correct. It's a minimum, but anyhow, it's a forty percent uh, equity balance deviation, and we have here a plot. Uh, of that equity balance deviation versus time. But what is it? So it's quite easy to explain. If you open an account uh, and you don't have any trade open, then equity and balance equal each other. At the moment you open a trade, then there will be differences. If your trade goes into the minus, okay, that means so you have so-called floating losses. That would mean your current equity which is always including open trades, um, is going uh, below the balance. At the moment you close that trade, then the two numbers are equal again. But what does it now mean if I have an equity balance deviation of minus 40%? Let's be practically. If we have an account of 10K, 10,000 euros, um, and we have that equity balance deviation, that would mean we have 4,000 euros as floating losses. So there are open trades with that loss. That's important to know because if we like that strategy, we, we need enough money yeah, to survive. Um, 
and therefore I, I emphasize here, for example, especially that number so that you know if you follow that strategy, even on average that might be minus 15%, um, there are always floating losses. That has to do. It has to do with uh, the, that special strategy. Uh, it's using some rebuy mechanisms, and uh, and therefore it's yeah. It has um, most of the time floating losses, but nevertheless, if you go back to the growth, <laughs> that strategy has achieved a, um, a percentage uh, profit of close to one hundred and twenty percent, and that profit is always including all the costs of trading so it, including commission including um spreads overnight costs whatever so it's the real growth of that account let's keep that picture in mind and now i press the button equity and now you see okay once again we have two two lines and that is equity and balance okay we know already what that means and the equity balance deviation is exactly hmm, that deviation between the two lines but what you see here oops what's that step down is that a drawdown no because we haven't seen that step down um, in the growth and that means that it was a withdrawal so the trader of that account took out some money why not um, and that has nothing to do with your money i mean even if you follow that strategy uh, you are not affected by by any any change of um, if the master account is is reducing or is doing a withdrawal of that amount here. No, it's just the master account. Nothing else has nothing to do with your money. Whenever you see steps here in the equity, um, and you don't have the same steps in the growth, then it's a withdrawal or opposite a deposit. That's good to know that we learn much more if we dive into any strategy and I really highly recommend to do that because it helps you for your decision process. Let me <clears throat> guide you a little bit more here. We, you have trading statistics about any trading strategy. Uh, you see in this case we have more than 2,000 trades being executed in more than one and a half year. So there are statistics behind the strategy. It's not just uh, five lucky winners and that's what we present here. No, uh, it's um, that's really uh, heavy statistics already here. And you can see even more, uh, not only the numbers of um, average loss, average uh, win, and something like that. You can see the traded instruments uh, even without signing in. So in this case, you can see that um, the majority of our trades are executed on the, the DAX and the Dow Jones. And there are a few other trades on um, oil, uh, one Forex pair, and goat. But the majority is index. And even that might be one of your preferences that you have in mind. Oh, I want to have a strategy which is trading DAX, for example. Then, okay, this strategy would trade DAX and Dow Jones, but at least you know that. That's, for example, Hyperion. And now let's do the same kind of review process with another strategy, um, which has been the top performer of last week, and that is uh, Gold Rush. Gold Rush has um, up to now earned uh, 34%, and um, which is really a cool number for a little bit more, one year and three months. Um, that's the overall growth. You learned about that. Then let's look for equity balance deviation totally different picture. There is, unfortunately, that has to do with data points, but anyhow, more or less, the equity balance deviation is uh, below 2%. Total different behavior of strategy. So if we don't like overnight trades, overnight risks, and something like that, okay, then Gold Rush is a perfect hit for that. And let me <clears throat> show you here once again the traded instruments. Then you can see uh, what a number. So 
overall, yeah, 1,200 trades, but the number of uh, symbols, the number of instruments being traded, there's even a second page here, um, is uh, about uh, 30, I think 34. Uh, so you see that strategy is a real portfolio in itself. Oops, I want to go back to the instruments. And um, yeah, you, can, you see there are instruments being traded, which if you sum up all those trades have losses, Yes, but overall, the strategy is doing extremely well. How can that be? Or what is the strategy doing? The strategy is doing something like um, a statistical edge. Statistical edge is a probability advantage. And what I have done is I have investigated and I do that process um, dynamically, that means I update the strategy every um, 26 days. So what I did is I looked for special weekdays like Monday, Tuesday, and something like that, and asked myself the question, is there a preference, an edge into one direction? And the best example, and that's the reason why we call the overall strategy gold rush, is indeed gold. Gold, for example, has a statistical edge on Friday going north. So it's always a good idea to have long trades on Friday for gold. And if you do those investigations for all the different symbols, then you get a set of rules on which day you might trade which um, instrument in which direction. And if you go a step further, then you can place a stop loss and look what uh, is a good stop loss level for such a trade. And then the strategy is ready because strategy is just opening a trade at midnight and closing the trade before any swap costs. So in this case, that is um, half past 10 uh, p.m. German time. Uh, finally, swap costs would um, occur at uh, 11. But anyhow, um, the trade is closed before midnight, so we don't have any overnight risk and especially no over weekend risk. And that's all the strategy is doing. So it's quite cool to have something uh, like that as well. And how is that done practically? Uh, I can show you because um, I have uh, direct access to the master account. The strategy itself, the master account is running on a virtual private server. And um, so here we go. Here we have uh, exactly that account. And let's have a view on today. Okay, today we have just one open trade and that one open trade um, is a long trade on Dow Jones. That's all. That trade will be closed um, before midnight. That's all. It has a stop loss level, of course. Uh, all strategies has, have stop losses, um, and at least all of mine. And just as, as an example, uh, let me let me show you um, uh, one graph, which is in this case uh, gold, and you see those lines here, green and red lines, that are trades on gold on that day. And um, I don't use candles because the candles would hide those lines. That's the reason uh, why we don't have a normal candle uh, view on that strategy. And you can see, for example, that was last Friday. So there have been trades on gold on last Friday, which have been quite profitable, as you can see by um, the length of that line. The three Fridays before, hmm, strategy uh, was not that good. Then the Friday before was perfect. That's the logic how that strategy runs. And all the time, strategy is scanning. Uh, is there a statistical edge on which day of the week and in which direction? If we have a significant edge, then it's a trade is opened. That's all. So it's dynamically, even if those conditions would change over time, strategy would realize that. So maybe um, 
in a couple of months. Maybe Tuesday will be the long day for gold. I have no idea. Um, but it will be scanned automatically and the rules will be changed. So that's how that strategy is running. And there has been the top performer of last week. But now let's look to my personal account and to the question, hey, how can you do things by your own uh, directly? So, um, so I will log in um, to my personal JFD Invest account, which I opened uh, last year, <clears throat> the 23rd of September. So today we have the day that we have a one year history within my account. And let's have a view on that. Um, so the overall uh, track record of that account, you can see here. Until May, it was more than perfect, uh, of course, um, up to 30 or close to 40%. But still, my target has been 25 at the year's end. Today, we have the year's end and I hit the target gross profit of 28%, uh, which is quite cool. And I enjoy that result. Um, so that's what I have achieved with my personal JFD Invest account. And let's have a view on which strategies I'm following. So that is allocation. Here you can see I use different amounts of money for different kind of strategies. In total, I have six different strategies. But now let's discuss how how do it, does it work? For example, um, if I want to change anything, because I cannot, I have no uh, money left to be uh, invested in a new strategy, but how can I stop? It's just stop allocation. And that means strategy, uh, JFD Invest would close all open trades of Vulcano in my account. And um, then money is released. Uh, so I could maybe go for a different strategy. Or same, if you go for a new strategy, let's let's assume we want to go for uh, butterfly. So let me press butterfly first. And uh, here you can see, the, no, that was a butterfly, forex gun, sorry, but uh, the wording now is the same. Uh, totally green monthly return table, that's for butterfly as well. If we lack like that strategy and we want to follow it, it's just pressing the button follow. And now you see, okay, we need a, a certain minimum amount of money to follow that strategy. And in this case, it would be 3,400 view, which I don't have. But um, I will show you in a minute uh, that you can find that number even before pressing the button follow. But in this case, the minimum investment amount for that strategy is 3,400 euros. So that's one thing. And the other one, what you might do is you might apply risk management. What does it mean? You see, we have a slider and that slider starts with 10%. And it means if I follow the strategy and my followed account would have, for that strategy has a loss of 10%, then everything is stopped automatically. So it's something like a stop loss on trading level now for on strategy level. So we can stop out strategy if a certain um, risk amount is exceeded. So that's quite do good, but Think about Hyperion. If we would leave that slider at 10%, we learned <clears throat> that there might be floating losses of 40%. Then, uh, okay, it might be not the best idea to go with 10% in this case. It's up to you. I mentioned <clears throat> that you can see those numbers of what is the minimum investment amount even before following any strategy. <coughs> and that's here behind details. Here you can see minimum investment. And you see that this number is 3,400 euro. And you can see some other numbers as well, how many people are following um, that strategy, how much money is under allocation, for example. And because we are transparent, we have to talk about that. And you see there's always, and that's for any strategy, performance fee involved, which is 25%. But the good thing is, that fee is only charged if there is profit. And even not profit alone is enough. No, it's on the um, 
base of high watermark principles, which means only if your followed strategy reaches a new high on a month's end base, then you have to pay that performance fee um, on the profit. So high watermark is really the best you can find in the financial industry and uh, it's quite fair. There's no management fee involved, nothing like that. Uh, so no base cost or um, underlying costs, management uh, fees, nothing. Only performance fee and that only if profits are there. So that's, I think, quite fair. That are the steps in order to find the right match between your preferences and the given strategies. Still, it's up to you which you follow, which amount of money you allocate for a given strategy and the selection process itself is totally run by yourself. But that's the job of a portfolio manager. And I can tell you, this is a quite cool job. And you can do that job wherever you are. You just need access to the internet, that's all. And then you can change allocation, jump on new strategies and um, or go on, on, on the safe side, just stopping everything, whatever. You can do that job wherever you are. That's for today. That's JFT Invest. If you have any further questions, once again, just drop me a line uh, to s.friedrichowski at jftbank.com. And of course, I will help you uh, as soon as possible. Enjoy the day, enjoy the time, and see you back next week for, uh, oh no, ne next week I don't have a webinar because next week um, uh, I will be on business travel, but then it's the week after next week. I will report of anything new about around uh, JFD Invest once again. Okay, enjoy your time. Bye-bye.